welcome back to my comfy couch. This discussion is all about the first date, so hopefully you haven't given up on them. Watch our panelists of men and women discuss the do's and don'ts of the first date, and hopefully you'll have some tips for a better dating experience next time. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy the show. Welcome to my comfy couch. Today's topic is about the first date do's and don'ts. When you hear the word first date, do you think, ooh, butterflies, I wonder if I'm going to do a good job, I wonder if they're going to like me, or do you just roll your eyes thinking, oh, you put forth all this effort just to be disappointed in the end. So join me and my guest today as we discuss the do's and don'ts of first dates, and maybe we can come to some kind of understanding today, okay? So welcome with me again, my guest today, Thaddeus. Say hi, Thaddeus. <laughs> I've got Jahan with me. Say hi. Hi. And I've got Joffrey, which you can't see, but he's here with us. Say hey, Joffrey. Hey, Joffrey. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, we're going to get it started like that. <laughs> As always, thank you again for being with me. I'm your host, Nicole. As always, we're going to start with a question from the card game, Mentally Stimulate Me. So I'm going to read the question, and there's four answer choices. So all of you guests, make sure you think about what your answers are going to be, and then we'll discuss it, okay? So a couple has been together for five years, and the guy hasn't proposed. What's likely the issue? A, his feelings have changed about her. B, he's going to do it eventually, so long as he's not pressured. C, he's complacent. Or D, marriage was never his goal to begin with. Again. A guy's been dating someone for five years and he hasn't proposed. Is it because his feelings have changed? He's going to do it eventually as long as he's not pressured. He's complacent or marriage was never his goal to begin with. I like this question a lot, actually. Because <laughs> I think this is what a lot of women are going through right now. If you feel me, just click like, say yes. <laughs> okay, so I want to hear... Should we start with the guy? We start with the girls on the approach. Let's start with the guys first this time. Oh Lord, they're gonna look. Thaddeus, <laughs> tell me, what's your answer? I'll go with the answer. Um, marriage was never on his mind. At, at the beginning. Okay, so he was never thinking about marriage. Why do you say that? Um, first of all, unless he is some guy that doesn't know what he wants in life, most guys they know within six months to a year if you are working to them. So the fact that he's been there for five years just says that he probably doesn't either think that you're a white material or just never had any intentions of marrying you in the first place. Wow. Woo! You hear that, ladies? <laughs> Joffrey, are you going to second that? How do you feel about this? Pretty much. I mean, if, if he, if like, if there's still a lot of fire there, and there's no question about his feelings towards the, towards the lady, then it's likely he's just the type that don't believe in marriage or whatever, doesn't think it's something that's important. But if he's just kind of going through it hanging, it just could be he's just like, he's uh, complacent. You know, he's not really looking at moving forward or anything. It's just, everything's in a holding pattern. I don't know if pressure would help that. Ultimatum certainly wouldn't help that. But... Yeah, it's 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 the, the I'd focus on mainly the last two, with the last one being the most likely that he was just never focused on marriage in the first place. Okay, so we got it from both guys saying someone should have known by five years. <laughs> Cookie, oh, do yeah, you five years is a long time. Sorry? Five years is a long time to just be in a relationship. I think most y'all pretty much know each other well enough to know, you know. Especially, especially if they're li if they're living together, it's likely he could just be complacent, depending on his his demeanor towards her. So it might be that he's complacent, but most of the time, it's most likely the fact that he doesn't want to marry her. Is that it? Yeah. You, you think well, I, I, would, I don't want to say like marry her specifically, but it just could be he doesn't believe like he's not a, a person that because you know you have people like that who don't really believe in marriage, so to speak. You know? Yes. Well, it's good to hear from a guy's perspective, kind of have a similar take on it. How about you, Jahan? Was that what you were thinking? What were you thinking with your answer? Yeah, initially, absolutely. I would agree with what Daria said. 
um, five years, you pretty much know. Then again, there's different types of relationships where they're very, very young and they start dating at a particular age, the age where things are changing in their lives, they're in college, they wanna get a particular degree, they want to do things first. It's not that they don't know they wanna marry this person, but there's things that they probably wanna get out of the way because they started dating maybe very young. You've seen that a lot. And then eventually they do get married. You've also seen where eventually they go their separate ways, but sometimes eventually they do get married past five, six, seven years. So. So you think most of the time it is that they don't wanna get married, but it might be different if they were a young couple, perhaps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I totally agree with Dee as well. Um, I feel like you said, most people know within a very, you know, short time if that person is potential or not, five years. So ladies, this is for you. Don't do it. Right now, <laughs> it's five years and he hasn't committed. Girl, keep it moving. Okay. All right. Thank you guys again for being honest and giving us <laughs> the real. Not on that good one. Advice. That's not good advice. Why is that not good advice? Because then you, you're breaking up happy people, you know, happy homes. I thought this show is about us having long lasting, happy, fulfilling relationships. Yeah, committed. You started that way. So, I, I mean, I've been in relationships like that where it started one way. Uh -huh. Now, all of a sudden, now women trying to flip it in the middle. If you didn't make marriage a requirement in the, in the beginning, then, you know, two, three years, five years from now, you can't just come in and then just tell them, well, if you don't marry me, I'm out. So you think these women did not make it clear to the guy that they wanted to be married? I am positive they didn't. What percentage of women do you think do not want to get married? Nine, um, I wouldn't, I don't know the percentage. I'm sure that there's a lot of women who would like to be, but the thing is liking to be and making it a, uh, something that's mandatory is two things, two different things. I mean, a lot of women, how many, how much women you know would like to be in shape? Most women, I think we can all on this call agree that most women want to be married and guys know that. And this is a huge issue, which we're going to talk about today as well, about us saying that, expressing that early right. on. But it's a no brainer, I think, that the typical woman wants to get married. Is and that correct? Generally, generally yes. Generally. And, and, and some women are such great communicators and you guys communicate so well. Why don't you communicate that up front? Well, as we're going to talk about tonight, there may be some reasons why we don't, especially in this day and age. Yeah, because you know that this is really crazy. Wow. Well, we'll get to that, okay? Is that okay? Well, well I have that question now. Can we discuss it then? <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. You bring about a very, very good point that we need to discuss, especially in this day and age today. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get our conversation started for tonight. Okay, so the first question is, we're going to get into it. When you guys think about the first date, you have, you all have had your share of first dates. How do you feel about it now? Do you even get excited anymore when you have to go out on a first date with someone? Jahan, tell me. <laughs> she shows me first. <laughs> of course, why not? Because if I um, accepted the date, I'm only going to be excited about it. I'm not going to accept the date and not be excited about it. Like feel like it's a burden. I'm going to go. I'm going to have a great time. And yeah, I... I would still be excited about it, yes. Okay, that's great. So you're still hopeful. All right. Why not? <laughs> How about you, Thaddeus? How do you feel about first dates? Are you... Yeah, tell me right now. First dates. First dates? Yeah. This is okay. It's just like meeting someone for the first time. Okay, so you're still up for it. Okay, Joffrey, how about you? I'm I'm the nervous type. I still get a little bit, you know, a little bit jittery. Like, hey, let me... You want to make a good first impression, and we talked about this before, but you know how people are very, um, they're, they, they're, they're, you're under the magnifying glass in the first date most of the time, and it, it feels like there's a lot of the, the superficial stuff that, that, uh, that goes on, and like once you kind of, y'all have seen each other a few times, you kind of get rid of that. That's when I kind of, that's when I feel more comfortable and I like generally dating. But the first dates are typically not my favorite just because you got to, you got to, it's like an icebreaker. You got to get it out the way, making a first impression and you seeing her first impression, et cetera. 
So, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying that I loathe the first day, but I'm not excited wouldn't be the word I'd use. It'd just be kind of kind of bit, a little bit of nervous energy. Okay. So thank you all. I got some butterflies. I got some, uh, it's all right. And some excitement. That's good. Well, for me, I'm not going to say I'm losing hope. And that's hopefully why, you know, I'm doing this show to help us kind of gain some, uh, <laughs> some hope here. Uh, but man, it's just hard after having so many first dates, asking so many people, you know, you know, what do you do for a living and getting past what are you really like? It's kind of hard to be hopeful because I'm thinking like, okay, there's always something wrong. What's going to happen? <laughs> What's going to be wrong with this one, right? <laughs> so hopefully with this discussion today, for those of us who are feeling the same way like I am, maybe we can restore some hope in our first dates, okay? All right. So um, I gave you guys an assignment to think of some of the no-nos. When you go on your first date with the opposite sex, what are some of the common things that you see um, in, in those states that are like, uh-uh, no, no. Okay, let's start with Joffrey. Well, I, for me, it's when, if she can just go on, if she can basically have a conversation with herself and kind of forget that I'm even like, that I'm sitting there, that I'm listening, that's, I mean, I know people do that sometimes when they're nervous too, but yeah, that that's the, uh, that's something I try to avoid, at least. If she asks me something, I don't want to go on too long about myself or my history or whatever. You know, I, it's, you know, you, you want to have a, an actual conversation instead of one person jabbering on and on while the other person just listens, you know? Okay, so that's a good one. So us talking too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> did you have any others, Joffrey? Oh... Uh, just general coldness. If she seems distant or she seems like she doesn't want to be there again, I know some people do that when they feel nervous and they're they're kind of rigid. But you know, you, you try to break out of that. But that is. Do you have the same experiences with women? Um, I don't. Uh, that's because I have a different approach to even okay. like like first dates. For instance, I don't. Number one, first date should never be like uh, you should just never meet meet someone and go out on a first date with them. I, I don't think so. I think that you guys should talk first. Uh, talk I first. agree, yeah. Yeah, yep. so call in maybe even some FaceTime at first. Uh, so when you, when you, so you already had, you already vetted that person because let's, let's, let's be real, right? Most dates are paid for by who? We, we we're going to talk about that as well, <laughs> but the guy. Right, but the guy. So like, you don't want to waste your money going on pointless first dates. You don't want to go on a first date and, and figure out, well, hey, you know, this is just a waste of my time. It's a waste of your time and your money. So you want to vet people before you go out with them. Then when you go out, then what you try to do is make the date as short as as short as possible. As short as possible. <laughs> it seems like there's a story underneath yes, that one. There is. Right. I learned that the hard way. As short as possible. That way, if we're not vibing, it's cool. So you meet for a cup of coffee, something really quick, something that's like 20, 30 minutes at the most. You, you sit down immediately. You can tell the vibe right there and then. So you don't need to. If she's rambling on and on for 30 minutes, it's fine. You, 30 minutes, you drink your coffee, you hear her, her good stories, you tell her, that was good to meet you, give her a nice hug, tell her you will call her, and then never call again. What? <laughs> you! <laughs> that is... I'm obviously I'm kidding, but you, you get Jahan, if, he, if a guy invites you to coffee at the first date, what do you think about him? Would you care if it, if it was coffee? It wouldn't matter, because for me, I, I wouldn't go on a date unless... Thaddeus touched on that point. Unless we've been talking, unless I have seen you somehow, whether FaceTime, WhatsApp video, pictures, and I'm feeling extremely comfortable talking to you because my time is very precious to me. And the energy that I want to have around me is even the same. It's extremely precious. So I don't want to be exchanging energy or time with you, even if it's for 30 minutes. So I want to make sure when I'm going there, there's kind of like a prerequisite, a pre, you know, I have a feeling of what it may be like. I mean, something can go bad. Yes. But I so if you invite me to coffee. Free screen. So I love what everyone's saying. That's awesome. So I can't, so that's a good tip for the first date. You know, talk a bit first, maybe see yeah. each other somehow, FaceTime, WhatsApp, do something like that. Before you actually go on the first date. Joffrey? I'm sorry. What'd you say, Joffrey? Basically, don't do blind dates. 
Exactly. Yeah. I, I agree. Yeah, so I like that. So that's a good tip for our audience. Okay, good. Um, how about, did you have any no-nos, Thaddeus, for women? I do not be late. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. I agree. I think the woman should be, we should arrive first. Really? I think that you guys should arrive when you say you're supposed to arrive. Ah! If it's nine yeah. o'clock, then it's nothing. Maybe that's just me, but nothing that ticked me off more than that. Because then now you're not respecting my time. Ooh, okay. So I told you to be here for nine. We agreed on nine. Then it's nine fifteen, and you haven't, you know. Then I have to text you, hey, where you are? Oh well, I'm right around the corner. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Joffrey, do you feel the same way? Do you think that's um, disrespectful, or are you okay? She should definitely, like, call or text and say, like, yo, I'm running, like, a tad bit late or something. But if she just is late and don't say nothing, then that's like, okay, so she's not considerate. Okay, you know, she, wow. Okay, ladies, don't. I mean, the second, second thing is, too, is how you show up. So however you show up is how I feel that you respect me. Okay. So if you didn't even take the time to, like, do your hair or makeup or anything like that, you didn't get dressed or anything, then I know that this is not serious for you. Women, if you want to make a good impression, I know that you're going to put in the work to do so. So if you come on a day and you're looking like you just rolled out of bed. Well, yeah, make <laughs> yeah, make sure that, the reason why I say I think the, the woman, well, you know what, let me don't talk for all women. I preferably would want to arrive first, especially if it's a situation where maybe I really want to go on that date, but I haven't been too comfortable with him as yet, but I, I'm still going to go on the date. You want to arrive first, you want to, choose where you're gonna sit because you want to see him coming so because that will take away the butterflies you want to see how he's dressed what shoes is, is he wearing because maybe when you're sitting down like you meet him at the table you guys leave and you never even look at these things he has dirty shoes on his feet is he even wearing shoes i mean it, it's <laughs> you know he, he's dressed up here and down there is, is did he put effort so that also takes away the butterflies all all of that and um, yeah, you want to give a first impression. So you got like a home court advantage, right? So you're there and they're coming yeah. to you. So you kind of have a, a little power to start Absolutely. with. <laughs> Joffrey, were you saying something? Oh, no, I just, I just chuckle. I'm thinking, I'm wondering what kind of date, uh, what kind of date y'all been on? I mean, <laughs> I, for me, like with, with her, as long as she just looks like herself, it's like uh, Thaddeus said, is she, as long as she don't look like she just rolled out of bed, I'm cool. You know, it, she doesn't have to be all super dolled up or glamoured up. As long as she looks like how she looks when I when I've seen her previously, you know. Oh. Because I know I know y'all do a lot of work and all that stuff. It takes forever, and you know. But I've 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 never been the type. I don't need like her to be wearing high super high heel shoes and, and all. <laughs> Okay, so I, I like this conversation. Okay, so we've got the whole show up on time. <laughs> you know, at least try to make yourself look decent, right? <laughs> Maybe you want to show up. I'm sorry. <laughs> show up first, right? Perhaps, ladies, like, show up first. Okay. Um, Jahan, do you have any no-nos for guys? Uh, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> oh, Lord. But some people are very sensitive when it comes to smell. So please don't overcompensate with the cologne. You don't need to. You don't have to like smell like you showered in a bottle of cologne because I have a very high sense of smell. I'm going to be sitting there like really like, wow, not being able to concentrate. Like, again, if you guys are talking prior to that, you may bring it up in a way so that you get the hint kind of. Or some people, they can't even take the smell of cologne. They're allergic. So and I have instances where they they just overdo the cologne. <laughs> That's All good right. Advice. That's good advice. I think a lot of people do they do that. Yeah. They come in to, with all yeah, yeah, trying to smell good and make a good impression. Yeah. Anything else, Shahan? That was a good one. Anything no, else? That, that's it. <laughs> okay, well, let me pull out my card here. <laughs> with I only have three things on the card. Number one is trying to get physical. I'm telling you, nine out of 10 of my dates, the guy tries to kiss me and or do something physical with me. And um, no, that, if the night was awesome, that like brings them down. Because then I think that they just do this with everyone and they just nasty, okay? Mm. 
But even though it seems like it's normal for guys because most of them are doing it. And when I speak to some guys, they're like, okay, if I'm feeling her energy and she looks like she's receptive, I'm going to try. <sighs> for me, I don't know. that That's a, ooh, yeah. it's hard to get past that. How about you, Jahan? How would you feel if a guy tried to kind of kiss or touch you or, or try to take you home? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be really uncomfortable. And that's why I tell some of my girlfriends, please don't try not to park at the spot because maybe the guy may act like a gentleman and he want to walk you to your car. He might be a psychopath. You don't need to know your license plate. Get an Uber or have a friend pick you up. Oh, Uber, that's Those are some of the things that we don't think about, you know? That's true. But I would be really uncomfortable if he tried to touch me in inappropriately i mean unless i i wanted it oh so you might want it <laughs> i'm just saying so this how is, is the first to know date, if you want him to remember the first date is just the first date that doesn't mean you guys haven't been talking for months okay or so it depends on your dynamic the vibe right thaddeus okay it depends on the first date <laughs> thaddeus um is it typical for guys if they're feeling the night to try to kiss the woman for me, ah! <laughs> for you, for me, yes, no, never. Okay, he says never. never okay, never. Joffrey, how about you? Same, same. That's same. What, what uh, what y'all been talking about about feeling comfortable? That's something I'm. I want to make sure she does feel comfortable because, you know, you understand the dynamic between a man and a woman physically, and that could. That could, you know, I don't want to do anything to make her feel uncomfortable. And even like what you said earlier, if the night is going great, I don't want to, you know, try to lean in and just get shot, just crash and burn. <laughs> That's going to put the whole damper on the entire experience. Because it's like, I feel like she was feeling me until she stonewalled me when I tried to go in for a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, so that's a good tip, okay, guys? I know you're probably feeling her, and she is just looking so hot that night, and you, the energy is there. Try, try to refrain, okay, for the first date, at least. Unless, like Jahan said, maybe you have a history, and it's been months y'all been talking, and it's just like explosion. So if, if that's not the case. Ask her for the kiss. Don't just go in. Ask her. Oh, ask her. Yes, and see if she says yes or no. I, 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 no. No, that's that's where I have to disagree right now. Ah, why? Because why? By I'm asking her, you don't want to get rejected. Can I kiss you, please? Ah, 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 again, ah, it depends ah, on how the vibe is going. You you why? can't just be like one way about a first date because it could, it's it's it can be very colorful. What were you gonna say, Joffrey? You just need to learn. It depends on how you ask. Hold on, sorry. Hold on, sorry. Go, what were you saying, Joffrey? I'm sorry. It depends on how you ask. If you like, like Daddy has said it, like if you say, like, "Oh, can I kiss you, please?" Well, yeah, you sound, you know, you gonna sound <laughs> realistic. Cool. You could be cool with it. You could be real cool with that question, you know? Yeah. Right. And the next one that I had was, like Joffrey said, going around along Joffrey's um, response, not asking questions and listening to responses. Oh my gosh! And when I'm on a date and the guy is just talking, yapping, yapping about himself. And he doesn't ask questions like women, like we want to exchange. You ask us, you, you know, we ask you, you ask us, like it's supposed to be a back and forth. Yes, it might be because a lot of people are nervous. So they're kind of just talk, ramble, ramble, ramble when they're nervous, but try to be mindful of that. A woman or a person is going to feel you're genuinely interested. If you're inquiring, like try to get to know me. Some people are not forthcoming with information unless you ask them. So I noticed that's a thing too. Like I'll sit there and be like, okay, are you going to ask me how I feel about this topic? I'm not going <laughs> to blab at the mouth. How do I know you want to know is if you ask me. Um, what do you think about that? I think sometimes women may tend to um, make the guy feel, and the guys can, an can answer, that they're on trial. And I, I don't think that that's a good interaction. Like, um, what is this? What, how, when, 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 when was your last re relationship? When was your, like, ask a different type of question. Ask him, so, like, mind-stimulating question, like, something like, uh, if you want to know, what, like, about when his last relationship, because you're trying to figure out how many people he's dated, and ask something like, uh, what do you think about the time frame in which we tend to move on after a relationship? That's a deeper conversation. And then it goes into, you know, some a more of a mind-stimulating thing. And then you guys go back and forth and you share. 
I, I was hoping someone would bring that up because I noticed that women do do that. Like we are, we give you guys the sense like we're interrogating <laughs> you're, we're yeah. interrogating you. We ask like firing questions because we're just trying to again efficiency. Especially when you get older, you're like I'm just trying to figure out if we can make this work or not. Are we compatible? You know, you got kids, you divorced. What is it? Real quick, we try to get as much information as we right. can. It makes it feel kind of not natural. So <laughs> I definitely agree. That's something we are definitely guilty of. And we need to be mindful of that, ladies. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And the last one I had is, oh, my God. I just want to throw up this card right now. Ooh. When I ask you, hey, so, you know, what are you looking for? You know, you just, what, what's going on? Let's where it goes. This, oh my, I'm going to try to slow-mo that when I edit this. <laughs> we need to talk about this, guys. I understand that y'all not trying to marry it. You don't even know. We don't know each other. We don't know each other. What? Come on. Can you say if you want to be, you know, what are you looking for? What's up with this whole, we'll see where it goes. You can't say that you want a committed relationship ever in your life. Tell me, Thaddeus. Me? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready for the answer? I'm ready for the answer. <laughs> so, I mean, like, we've had this conversation before, right? Tell me. I always tell women, so what is a guy after? What does he want? According to our conversation, sex. <laughs> I mean, that, that's according to, to common sense. Uh, if if, a guy, if he didn't have a vagina, this guy would not be interested. He would not be on that date. I mean, he's not there because you're, you have such an awesome personality. No matter how awesome you think your personality is, why is he there? Because you have something that he wants. And he needs to get whatever it is that you, that, that you have, right? Okay. And how will he get it? By, uh, By what? Playing along, I guess. doing Saying what we want to hear? Exactly. But he doesn't want to lie. So he's just like, well, we'll see. So, okay, so if he says we'll see, would he say that with everyone? Or if he would, if it was someone he was really interested in, would he say, well, you know, I'm trying to see if I'd like to be married eventually, um, or... Guys are very direct. We, we are very direct. At least men are. Like, real men, we are very direct. Uh, so real good. men would say we'll see. So it's not that you're, they're just F-boys, as they say. Huh? All men really are just trying to say we'll see. Yeah, like... Well, well, that's if he doesn't know. Like, if he knows what he wants from you, then he'll tell you. But we're not asking what you want from us. That's the whole point is we just want to know in general, you know, are you looking for marriage? Are you just looking to have fun? Are you just looking for friends with benefits? Like, what is it that you want? Uh, the thing is, any one of those questions could go either way. Because the thing is, if you said he's looking for marriage, now that becomes your focus. It's not. And that's what I want to stop from you guys. But that's what the guy would think, Nikki. That's the guy would think, oh, she's looking... If, at, if, at me if, to marry me and I, I don't want to marry her sorry oh what were you saying um john say it say it again please no i'm i'm saying yeah i agree with that because the guy's probably is thinking when you ask that question you want to know if he wants to marry you yeah. not if he wants to be? get married it's the first day if i say yeah but, but that's what some women are looking for some women are like yo i'm looking to get married and settle down so if he, if he answers any question, any answer other than that, that I'm looking to get married, then she's like, okay, well, I'm, I don't have time to waste. Like, so you, you're, you're, off the, you're off the table. So even a serious man that's really would like to get married eventually, he will not say on the first date that eventually I would like to get married. No. Nah. Wow, Joffrey, I need to hear from you. Clear this up for me, well, please. Not, not with you. Not with you, but in general, if we say, okay, what are you looking for? You know, where do you see yourself long-term? Do you see yourself married? You know, like, you can't even say that? Joffrey, help me out. Help me out, Joffrey. Oh, well, yeah. yeah I, 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 don't, I don't know. It, it, the whole thing with we'll see just... I can't speak for them, but it, it comes across... I'm thinking that it's, one, he's not... It could, be, it could be three things. He's not exactly feeling you that much on that level. Two, yeah, he just want to hit it. Which, if you were a man, he would just say, you know, I'm kind of, I'm just looking to have, have fun and, you know, that sort of thing. Or three, he, he genuinely isn't certain yet and he doesn't want to put any sort of ideas in your head before he comes to that decision. But he could, I mean, look, there are all, there are all kinds of things a dude could say if he's, well, all right, look, 
we could say that a fella's only he's only looking to to, to 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 have sex to hit it, but you could technically say that about women as well. I mean, of course, sex is in there, but I've always viewed dating as there's a means to an end to this. We're trying you're trying to find your companion, and maybe y'all might connect on a level where y'all just like having sex, and that's kind of the, the where the limit goes, or y'all might connect beyond that where the sex is great and y'all really vibe with each other that's what well, i figure that's what anyone's looking for so joffrey well, so, oh i'm sorry go ahead what were you saying well, that, that was pretty much it go ahead so i was saying joffrey so if you're on a date and you are thinking about you know eventually long term getting married or being in something serious you don't know if it's her yet if she were to ask you you know so what is it that you're looking for you know are you you know looking for something long term or are you just trying to have fun for now like, would you be hesitant to answer, I'm looking for something eventually long-term? Would you Would you hit them with the, we'll just see where it goes? If I liked her, if I was really digging her, yeah, I would say, like, straight up, like, yeah, I'm looking for, I'm looking for my counterpart. You know, that, right. that's okay, so would... it's, it's good discussion, because I'm glad that you guys feel differently, and, and you know, Jahan, everyone, because that's something so huge now. Oh, I went on a date recently, and I'm telling you, at the end of that first date, I told a guy I'm not going to see him again. And it's a large part because of that. To me, if somebody is really, you know, serious about wanting something long term, like, why can't, why you say, oh, you know, we'll just see, you know, I'm just looking to have fun and we'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Like anything in life, how can you tell somebody we'll see where it goes? If, if you showed up to a job or some kind of opportunity or something and they said, Oh, you know, we, we'll just see how it goes. I mean, like, come on, we're adults. We want to know where this thing, you know, we want to to know it's actually gonna, you know, go the somewhere. Or somewhere. Yeah. Sorry, set the expectations and be intentional. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it was a good discussion. You look like you had something to say. You okay? Okay. So um, those were mine. <laughs> okay. So now I told you guys to think about your first, your worst first date experience. Does anybody want to share their story of like a terrible first date that they had without calling any names? <laughs> the person will know who they are. <laughs> oh, how about you, Joffrey? No one can see you. So Joffrey, why don't you give me a story? I don't really have, I don't have a horror story. Most of the, most of the dates I've been on, it's, uh, it's like what, how Johan was, was, was was the same you've known the person for a while y'all have been chatting and, and hanging out and then y'all make a formal date so i'll like the whole i've never gone on a blind date that's something i've never all the the, the tinder dating all that stuff people i know people do that but i've never gone into that specifically because i like to know the person i like to know the girl like she could like she could be a complete psychopath but she was all right on online or whatever. Then you get on stage, you see a look in her eye, and something is something is a little bit off. So how I about like Jahan? Do you have a a first date horror story? Or it was just embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I went on this date, and long story short, the guy's card got declined. <gasps> I was embarrassed for him because he gave another card and he got thick. Oh, what? And he didn't have cash, which was very weird to me. Well, I'm sorry. What did you say? What was weird? That he didn't have he didn't have cash. He gave a second card. It got declined, and he didn't have cash. I mean, I didn't mind paying. Oh, so you had to pay? Really, I felt really bad for him. Uh, I, I wouldn't offer that. I will just be like, "Hey, what's your cash up? I'll just cash up for the money." Off the card that's not working, off the account of the that's not working. <laughs> right. <laughs> did you think did you feel like he was trying to set you up? <laughs> did you feel like that, Jahan? Like he was trying to set you up? I like didn't he, I didn't feel that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. But I don't have any other Oh, that is yeah, I would yeah, that's tough. <laughs> that's really terrible for him. Because uh, he was embarrassed. Oh I have a question. Yes. I'm curious. Just, just, I'm just curious. Did he, did he call you again after that, or was that it? Oh, we went on, on we. <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. That's cool. All right. Oh wow. Okay. So he made up for it. It seems. 
My boy worked off that meal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Let me tell my story real quick. I have many of them, but I'm just going to tell you this one. So, <laughs> not many. I'm just being funny. But um, yeah, so one thing, I did meet a guy on this online whole dating thing. And we did, we were kind of texting and actually talking on the phone and stuff before we went on the first date. So we were supposed to go to the movie. So I pull up to the movie uh, late. <laughs> So it had already started. So he's like, okay, let's just go get ice cream down the road here. So I hopped in his car, had a, a child seat in the back, a car seat in the back. Mind you, he, he's supposed to have any kids. So then, so we get to the ice cream place. We have ice cream. So then he pulls over to like a Publix across the street from the ice cream place. So then he turns off the car and then he starts leaning in trying to kiss me. And I'm like, whoa, um, no, uh, uh, I, you know, I just met you all of a sudden. <coughs> Oh, my throat, my throat. Um, I think I need to get some water in the public. So, so I'm waiting for him to get out the car, but he's not getting out the car. He's waiting for me to get out the car. <laughs> so I'm like, if this fool thinks no I'm going to get out this car and he's going to leave me out public, he is lying. <laughs> no so I just asked him, I'm like, oh, but you said you need a water. You know, you can go ahead and get water. Oh do you know God. he didn't even fake it and pretend to go in and get water like he just stayed in the car drove me back to the the, the movie theater lot. i hopped out and he sped off <laughs> wow at least you can laugh about it now <laughs> wow okay or you know i never wow. reached out but yeah, so I call him public. Anytime I tell him, <laughs> I was like, this fool was really going to leave me up public that day. We're shopping with a pleasure. <laughs> Let me check public. No. Anyway. <laughs> um, think, so. I'm thinking about that. That must have worked at some point. That worked on somebody. Exactly, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, so now I'm going to ask some questions um, that I think are good kind of discussion questions for the first date, okay? So question number one. You guys kind of touched on that. Who should pay for the first date? Should it be the guy? Should it go Dutch? Does it matter? What do you think? Go ahead, Thaddeus. Um, I, mm, I don't know like who should pay as far as me giving advice to people. So you do whatever works for you. Some people, they are okay with Dutch. Some people are okay with the guy paying. Some people are okay with whoever initiated the date. So should people talk about it first then before they go out or? Um, like I said, it's what, 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 whatever works for you. But how do you know it works for the other person? How about you, Jahan? Does it matter who pays? I think whoever initiated the date. Um, uh -huh. However, if a guy initiated a date and I go on the date, I'm definitely going to have money to pay, especially considering what has happened in the past. But I will always have money on me to pay. You, you see what I'm saying? So that's just... That's just how I look at it. I've, I've, I don't recall, other than that incident, ever having to pay for a, a date. Yeah, I have a friend that calls that vex money. So you always right. have to right. Money. Exactly. You get you have vex money. <laughs> you have to get yourself home. Right. Right. <laughs> Joffrey, does it matter who pays? It's, I agree with what they said. It's whoever, like, if she initiates the date, I, I'm going to be ready to pay if, if, if she's not. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really that rigid on that. So are you expecting her to pay if she um, is the one who offers for you guys to go out? It depends. If she, if she, if she, if she offers to go out and, we're, and she, we, she wants to go to some restaurant that I know is expensive, uh, before, I even, before I go, I'm going to comment, like, yo, that place is pretty expensive. Like, you, you know, you sure you want to go there? Because... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, real, like if it's like one of them artsy, art deco, you know, $80 for a plate, $200, whatever, it's like, ew, that's not really my speed. Let's, uh, let, let's bring it down a bit. But again, if she's, if she's offering to pay, I'm still kind of feeling weird about that. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's, so, with uh, me, you, you point at me, but for me, it's different. Like, no, I point at you because, um, you would you go to the places with the two hundred dish, but you pay. Yeah, I pay. Yeah, all the time. I was just I, saying I, you I like the nice, the nice, the nice dining, also, the fine dining. The reason why I can't speak for other men is because when I go on a date, I am I am going on the date. Like you are coming along with me, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. of course I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna take care of everything. That's why I go to places that I like. I like fine dining. 
So you just get to come along with me. You're my date. Mm -hmm. Like, so, and that's my attitude. Like, I'm not a 50-50 guy. Okay. But there's plenty of guys out there who are. That's why I said do whatever works for you. Okay. Yeah. I, okay. I, I, if, if I, if whether you, you initiate a date or I initiate a date, I'm going to pay because that's how I am. You okay. Wanna, you want to date with me, not the other way around. Okay. For me, I expect a guy to pay on the first date. Um, even though, right. uh, because I, I am still kind of traditional in that sense. I do feel like it's a guy's ultimate oh, really? um yes i still think ultimately a guy is i think in my opinion again it's personal and that's why you need to know the person you're talking to i do think ultimately the guy should feel some kind of financial obligation to a uh, household because I, I have those you know different thoughts it's personal right everyone has their different okay. kind of religious or whatever so for thoughts no, no reason other than he's the guy you're the girl he should be right but however I always do offer though, and it is kind of a test. Like if they say yes, I do feel a way. I'm not gonna lie. If and he I'm could be testing you too when he says what? When you he like, could be no. testing you by saying what? That's when you go ahead, Jeffrey. That's what she what Yohan just said. He could be testing you like, oh, she gonna offer to pay? Like, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and say yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. No. Also, he might be testing like if he accepts and say yes, you can yeah. pay. So, so now the two of you just playing games. <laughs> well, not exactly. That's it. Not even so much that if she, if you say yes, that it means that he can hit. It's just he might look at it like, yo, why is she offering the same thing? She knows full well that I'm 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 hosting this. I'm supposed to be hosting this. Let me so go ahead. Guys, so you hmm? get offended if she offers and you invited her out? Men definitely will. I've been told that. Oh they yeah? Definitely yeah. Will. You guys get offended by that? Well, for me too. Like I Obviously, I don't need help. You're in a restaurant where the average plate is, let's say, $100 uh -huh. or something like that. Why are you offering to pay? Like, oh, like, so don't offer, you? like, hey, do you, can I help with this? No? Don't? Joffrey, you said no, don't do it? Probably, yeah, you could get a question mark. Like, like, uh, like Thaddea said, if he, if he asks you out, he's hosting. And if he takes oh. you to a restaurant, whatever the restaurant is, that's his speed. Thaddea seems to say he likes to find, he likes fine dining. If he takes it to an ultra expensive place, mm -hmm. he already knows what the purse is like. So he's going to have the funds to cover everything. Wow. So yeah. Why that's, would you offer to pay? And he that's interesting. Like, it's not even offer to pay for your side 50 50. Like, you. No, like, wow. I'm no, shocked. Absolutely not. Wow. Because I thought some guys felt like, you know, that's a good thing. Like, okay, well, she's willing, willing to do 50 50. She's not going to always be taking from me. She's willing well, to do that. Subsequent dates. So if we're going out all the time now, yeah. so that's fine. So like, right. for instance, if we go, right. out, we go to dinner, uh, we go to dinner after we said, okay, dinner was cool. Uh, so what you want to do after this? Uh, uh -huh. Let's go to the movies. And yeah. you're like, listen, I got the movies. Okay, okay. That is like- that Or what if the tip? Cause I've done that too. Like, oh, can I at least no, leave the no, tip? No, no, Nothing? No, no, no. Okay, Joffrey, what were you saying? No, just what these, I'll just piggybacking off what that is. And same deal, same deal. Yeah. Okay, like, well, that's good. So I'm learning something. So don't offer at all for nothing because I felt like the guy was going to be, I thought you, you know, feel like, okay, you're a partner. It's not just you. Yeah. I'm not expecting to get everything. That, that comes later on. That, okay. that sort of, that's later on. Like, okay. It, it feel like you kind of questioning, you know, it's, it could be a, it's a man thing. I admit oh. it. You, you kind of question it. It's like, hey, I got this. You know, I'm okay. So, Johan, so you never offered to help pay or tip or anything on the first date? No. Oh, wow. Okay. So I come with the expectation that maybe I may have to, but okay. I'm not going to offer. Okay, but how will you may have to? Like, he'll leave the check on your side or he'll say, hey, um, you know. You Just you never know how we can turn. Like, right. Yeah. It, it might. It never happened to me. It yeah, really, I know. might be the case. <laughs> me either. So, okay. I won't be washing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, thank you guys. So, ladies, there you go. Let the guy pay on the first day, and he's not going to think like you're not a teammate, okay? So, I love that. Thank you guys so much for clearing that up, okay? All right, and the, um, the next question was, oh, we talked about the whole marriage. Is it okay to mention marriage in the first? The last question is, does it matter if you sleep with someone on the first date? Let me tell you, I was watching something like a couple weeks ago, and the guy said, he's a relationship coach, which I love watching. He said, we do it a lot. Stuff. No. So he says, you can be an educated woman, you know, and making six figures, got your stuff together. I almost said that <laughs> stuff together. And you sleep with him on the first date. He sees you the very same way as the girl who has nothing going for herself because you slept with him on the same night. I said, 
I was yep. shocked. I was floored. So I want to hear from you really? guys. Does it, if a girl sleeps with you on the first date, is she put into the same box? It doesn't matter if she has her life together or not. Does she go into the whole box if she sleeps with <laughs> you on the that. first night? Joffrey, Thaddeus looks a little speechless. Joffrey, tell me. No, she don't. Everybody's a dog. Maybe she just wants what she wants. It's whatever. I, I you know, the whole box, all that stuff. It's like, yo, know, I like sex. How am I? I ain't gonna call her a hoe. She likes it. If she saw, if she wants what she sees, we hit it off, and she's like, come upstairs. It's like, no snap. I guess I did a lot better than I thought. All right, we're, we're doing this. But I'm not gonna look at her the next day like, oh, she a hoe because she had sex. So she does. She can still that potentially. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, so she could still potentially be the one if she does that? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. How about you, Thaddeus? Hmm. So my answer is a little bit different. Tell me. So I always would advise women against doing that. Why? Because then you have the potential of looking like that. Because there's a lot of guys who think like that. Uh, there's a lot of guys who think like that. That if you sleep with me on the first date, okay, immediately you go into a different lane. I was looking at you as girlfriend, perhaps wife material, but because you did that, now you're going to a different lane. I see you as fun girl, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't lose anything by not having sex. So then, then what's the case for doing it? You, you don't. Have to do it, the date is going well, then just don't do it. Uh, so you don't have the possibility of ending up in fun girl. Then. All right. Jahan, what do you think? By the comment I told you, did that shock you? That, that he could automatically feel that doesn't matter what status you have. If you put it down the first night, that you're automatically... But, I mean, you didn't... This don't, don't come up. Huh, Jahan? I believe, I, I believe that to be true. Yeah. Me, personally. I would not sleep with a guy on the first date. Um, to me, that just sets the tone for the rest of the date or getting to know someone. Because with me, with dating someone, um, the intention is different it's not about trying to figure out the physicality and how you perform the first time like that's not what i'm going i want to go because i'm trying to get to know you to see if we can if we have stuff in common if we can become friends by becoming friends if there we can start dating and if you know this person it may lead to marriage so okay there's, there's no in my opinion there's no need for that Okay, so we heard it. We heard it from the guys and the ladies. Okay, I, I still can't believe that you. What, what do you think? You that said you were shocked. Mean, why? You, you said why am I shocked? Yeah, because I thought that all of our alkalis they mean something. Like if you see that she has her stuff together, you guys have such a deep connection. Uh -huh. You know, if the night is going so good, you have such a deep connection with the person. You see that she's killing it. You know, at work, you could tell she's gonna be like a good partner. The fact that she has sex with you, how could that wipe out all those other things? Because that's what that's what that's what yeah, that's that's trying to think, right? That's what I'm saying. So that's why I I I it was shocking to me. I didn't think she would go in the same box as her yeah, rat. The you know first what I mean? Thing, the first thing I'm gonna think is no matter how much chemistry that we had, I'm going to think that if you have done this with me, and that's 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 the case that's probably ninety nine percent of the time. If you do this with me chances are you're going to do with somebody else. It's like, you're not thinking, I, it's just not, you can't be that big of a connection. Nah, you can't I, be that special, back right? Back when I was naive, I used to fall for that. <laughs> the whole, oh, you're so special and I've never done this before. <laughs> yeah, come on, get real. Like, nobody's not special, really. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. What'd you say? That's kind of where I'm coming from. My attitude is that She's probably she's most more than likely had sex and done a lot more things with other people before me. So I'm not gonna throw her in the whole box just because, like, particularly if it's if it's a date that it's been built up to, like we've known each other, we've been talking and hanging out and whatever, and we just have like our first like formal date date, and she she like gives us up on the first date. I'm I'm not looking at her any different. If it's a blind date and she does it. I'm not judging her, but I'm looking for like, okay, I, she just goes, for, she just goes for it. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see where this goes. But yeah, if it's, if we've been friends for a while and we go on a date and she's like, come upstairs, I'm not familiar with it. Okay. 
Well, we heard it from, <laughs> thank you all for your, your comments. So lastly, uh, before we wrap it up, do you guys have any tips um, for the opposite sex? Um, you know, kind of something to leave with, with them as we leave about first dates. Yep, I got a tip for you. Tip, what's... <laughs> 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 Edit this out from the last video, but let's okay. Hashtag just a tip. Just a tip. <laughs> okay. Well, you edit up my stuff, man. <laughs> do you have a tip for ladies? I do. If you had to like leave one thing with them, what would you say? I would leave the tip. Okay, Joffrey. If you had to leave the ladies with a tip or two, what would you tell them? Keep it real, please. Just keep it real. Don't try to present yourself as what you think you're going to like. And this goes to both people. There's so much faking going on with dates. And it's like, look, if y'all are going to date for real, they're going to figure out and, and learn who you really are anyway. You know, just keep it real. It's, it's a date. Y'all are, are trying to see how y'all work with each other. So okay. that's it. Keep it real. Okay. Flaws and all. You're going to you potentially accept those flaws if we keep it real? Yeah. And look, I'm not saying air out your dirty laundry. <laughs> What's this? Okay. How about you, Jahan? If you had to leave something for the guys, a tip or two, what would you say? Um, don't come with the expectation that there's going to be a second date. And what I mean by that, what I mean by that is when you come in on the first date, just come just to get to know the person mm -hmm. you know I love it. just come just to talk just to have a good time and don't have all the expectations of the after and the night where you wait where it's gonna lead have a great time enjoy each other's company have mind stimulating conversations ask her questions that you would think no guy has ever asked her you know what i mean you know, that that's my tip. Be yourself. I love it. And that makes me think of one last question slash discussion. Because I feel like a lot of people are kind of cutting it short really quick. After the first date, it didn't really go well. Huh, it's it's not, not for me. I think we do it not a lot. We're just missing people very quickly nowadays. I feel it in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So my question to you is, you know, if the first date didn't go so well, you know, how many dates do you think you should go on with someone before you're like, okay, I think I pretty got it. This is not, it's not working for me. Should someone just after the first date, just squash it with the person? What do you guys think? Because that would be my one thought or tip or, you know, is, are you dismissing them too quickly? Um, you know, did they, you know, were they not good on that first date? So, you know, they're not getting a second chance. Oh, the whole thought about butterflies. You know, I didn't really get a connection. There wasn't any chemistry there. Should you go back out with someone, even if the chemistry wasn't there on the first date? What do you think? You, you may not initially get the chemistry on the first or the second date. You may get it on the third date. It all depends on, um, well, okay, going into dating, right, or going on dates. Do you have to, in, to yourself, what do you want? You have to ask yourself certain things, like if he's late, if he doesn't want to pay, if his fingernails are dirty, if he doesn't have shoes on, <laughs> then those are things like, oh my God, why would I want to be in this person's presence a second time? You know, but then if he, let's say he didn't, the communication wasn't really there, his jokes were kind of dry, but yet still you still want to get to know him. Of course, go on a second date, especially if it wipes away other, you know, the other things and there's certain things that you'd still liked about the particular date or about the guy. Cause you're not gonna get to know everything about the person. They may be nervous. They may have a lot going on. They were thinking about something else. They were distracted. It what could just so, not be that into you. Right, so, okay. So you're kind of saying know what your deal breakers are. And if it wasn't yes. like a, a, you know, hard, deal breaker, then perhaps for it, give them another chance. Um, how about you, Joffrey? Like, does chemistry really matter? Do you have to feel those butterflies or still try anyway? No, the first day is, is, is the icebreaker. You know, I don't, I don't look at it like it's a true snapshot of y'all together. It could be a disaster. It could look like some of the dates you describe where dudes is trying to get too physical with you, that that that's the no-no for you. That could kill it where you're like, I ain't going back out with them. But then in your case where 
something was going on with dude's card. It's like let's do a do over with that. Let me let me or you know let me try and get this right. You know, so, you know, it, it was cool that they went on another date because that was that's a disaster. His <laughs> card is a crime. <laughs> yeah. How about you? That is like if you're not. Can I say one more more thing real quick? Oh, sorry, go ahead, go ahead. sorry. And try not to talk about religion or politics. Um, like stay no, away from I, this I, topic. I, I, no, no. I, I talk about that on the first. If so you, so, so Fabulous, Fabulous is very, on, is on very on like logical. And uh, the thing is, that does not work for everyone because. Yeah, you probably want to know, do you like Trump or you like Biden? What are your take? What is your really... Again, there's certain things, conversations you should have prior. The first date is short. Why you want to be discussing heavy topics, stuff that's just going to take it in a different direction on the first date? It might just come up. (laughs) Joffrey, what what were you going to say? Oh, nothing. I was just kind of... Uh, chuckling over that. That's true. You you do want to find out if he's in the Trump or something like that before you go out on the date because you don't so you that, don't want to do it. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm um, done. I'm sorry. So Thaddeus, would you go out with a girl again if you weren't really feeling it? The chemistry wasn't there, but she seemed like a great girl. Uh, don't think about it, right? So mm-hmm. for my what for my general advice in dating, I'm thinking, okay, number one for dating, what is your your ultimate purpose for dating? So if you're out here, you there's two there's two reasons why you could date, right? One, I call it shopping for an apartment. You know, there's people who just like relationships, right? And then there's people who actually sh- are shopping for a house. They want to put down, they want to sign a contract. This is what where they want to live. Probably want to spend the rest of their life. And so you approach both differently. For a for an apartment, you're not looking to be there forever, so you're shopping differently. You're just like, well, I'm just planning to be here for a couple, you know, and this is a subconscious thing, by the way. People don't even realize that they're doing it. So you you will forego or you will overlook a lot of things because this is an apartment. Okay, I don't like this. I don't like that. And, but, you know, I'm only going to be here for a couple of years, Max, so I'll take it. Rather than a house, you want it to be perfect. So when you, you're going on dates, you, you have to, um, you know, try to uh, find within yourself or reason within yourself what is the purpose of me going on these dates? So what is my expectation? What am I looking for? Uh, if the if it's a house, I know it's a more a long-term thing. So if I didn't have chemistry, there, there's more things that I'm looking for. Okay, great. I don't, I, when I got to this house, I didn't really like the layout of the house too much. However, my thing was more, I was more interested in the neighborhood and the schools and all that stuff in the zone. So even though I wasn't in love with the house, of course, I'm going to give it more time. So, of course, that you would, in, in, if I bring that analogy to the dating scene, mm-hmm. of course, I would give this young lady more time. Because <clears throat> okay, if we have been speaking on the phone, okay, I already see that you, the religion passed, the finances pass, the character passes, like everything passed. Those are the, the more important things. Mm-hmm. So, because we didn't have chemistry or we didn't have a great conversation, that, that is not going to stop me from going on the second date. So, you go on the second, you go on the third date, and there's still no chemistry. At what point do you say, okay, it's just not coming you know, well, I don't think anybody could answer that definitively. Like, what, 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 what is, what is the answer you think? Ten dates, eleven dates? No. Like, you just know from yourself. Like, okay, you will know when a relationship has run its course, and it's like, okay, mm-hmm. great. It's like we are great friends, and and sometimes that happens too. Like, some people with some people, you go out with them, and you find out, hey, we are just awesome friends, but it's just never gonna go from here. I actually don't mind that. Like, um, okay, great, we didn't make it as as. Uh, um, we didn't make it in a relationship as far as a romantic relationship, but however, we are cool friends. Keep in touch. I keep in touch. Okay. Um, so, okay. So uh, you guys kind of said similar things about if it's not hardcore deal breakers, kind of knowing what it is you're looking for from someone and then, you know, seeing if it goes from there. Okay. So do you guys think people are dismissing people too quickly nowadays? Oh yeah. We have to cancel culture. We have microwave. Everything is supposed to be quick, quick. And then the whole butterflies, I, I think we, 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 like for me, I'm like getting up there in age. Like, come on, like <laughs> but, butterflies. That's something in high school. That's something that you have in like your early twenties. Like at this point, you need to start to look at more. We're shopping for a house, not for an apartment. Jahan, what do you think? Do you think we're dismissing people too quickly? Uh, <clears throat> yes and no. And <clears throat> I think it's important to dismiss someone very quick. The faster you do it, the better. Um, at the same time, however, 
if the two of you are being intentional with what you want, he has told you, I am very interested in you. And that's such a turn on. Imagine you're talking to this guy and he's telling you, I'm very interested in you and I'd like to get to know you more. But maybe you went on a first date and you didn't feel the vibe, but you guys have awesome communication. You guys talk well, the topics are amazing. Everything is like, you know, it's never forced. So you go on a second date and be intentional to see, is there any type of sexual attraction here? What you didn't feel on the first date. And maybe you might find out that, hey, you know what? Since I'm thinking long-term, this can be, you know, okay. something that's long-term. Okay. Joffrey, how about from you? It's, it's what, like what Fadia said as well. And it, people, yeah, it, it, it differs from person to person. You're not going to know, there's no set number where you're dismissing someone too quickly. You'll know within yourself, like, the mm -hmm. thing you mentioned where dudes was getting too physical, some women would give that person another chance or they'd be okay with it, but you're not, you're, that's a no-no that makes you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you all again for being on the show. So at the end of each show, I always do kind of a call to action. Um, what are we going to do? And you who are watching at home, please call to action, listening to this whole conversation. You know, is there something that you're going to do differently for your first dates in the future? Something that kind of opens your mind? Because again, we want to have more um, successful dating experiences leading to long-term relationships. So tell me if there's anything that you got from this conversation that you're going to do differently. How about you guys? Is there anything that kind of stood out in your mind that you're going to try to do on your next first date? Jahan, Jaffe. just keep being intentional. That's that's the best thing I can say. And get to know the person on a particular level before going on that date. Because I don't want to waste your time, and I do not want you to waste my time. Love it. How about you, Jaffrey? Just know what you want. If you, I, 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 me personally, I can say that I, I don't. I can't think of anything I would do differently on a first date now because I've known what kind of lady I've wanted for a long time now. So, all right you know, if, if, if you'll be attractive you know oh i'm sorry i missed the the end part of what you said i'm saying if she's right for me there's nothing about myself that would be a turn off for her, okay know? okay that is you <laughs> um from your experience yes i would say that um if i went on a date and i didn't like her mm -hmm. that i would try to leave in and kiss her <gasps> so that she would never want to go with me again. <laughs> well, it seems like the girls you're talking about, that would know <laughs> calling you, so. <laughs> you might be on to something there, because if she's done, if she, if you yep. need in the kitchen, she goes for it. It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win, right? <laughs> <laughs> and obviously, I learned that about the whole paying on the first date. <laughs> to stop offering that that's somewhat offensive to yes. some people so <laughs> we don't offer no don't and, <laughs> okay and again at home thank you all so much for joining me Jahan thank, thank you for having me Jaffrey, <laughs> and Thaddeus again and thank you all for joining me on my comfy couch I'll see you next time thank you for watching this episode of my comfy couch and hopefully, if you have any tips, you can leave them below for the do's and don'ts of first dates. Did you like Jahan's look? If so, she is a freelance makeup artist. Hit her up on IG, Facebook, or YouTube at Simplified Chic. Yes, Simplified Chic. Don't forget, as always, like, love, share, subscribe, tell somebody. And if you're interested in being on the show, reach out to us, okay? See you next time.